I bought a rower at the beginning of the year to substitute my running sessions when it was too snowy out. Now I use it every week, and I love it. And it's made me wonder, should everyone be rowing? How do I use it? What's so great about rowing? And how has it helped reduce my risk for injury? Well, let's get into it. I got my rower in the middle of winter when I started to realize that running outside was becoming a little too icy and dangerous. At the time, I didn't have an aerobic or running plan in place. I was mostly just doing zone two runs. So when I got the rower, I decided to do concept twos, workout of the day, about five days a week. They put up a new workout on their website each day and it's free. They also detail how to program the rower for that workout and it was just a wonderful way to get started with rowing. I did intervals, pyramids, easy sessions, and everything in between. It was a great way to not only get fit, but learn how to use the machine. Once the weather improved, I got back to running and started my VDOT running program, which I've talked about before on this channel, but I kept rowing. One thing that surprised me about the rower was just how flexible it was, how many different use cases I could find for it. It can be used on leg or back day to develop both strength and power. Just like you would do sets of deadlifts, you could do three sets of 10 maximum pulls on the rower that engages the posterior chain or can be used for high intensity interval training and zone five work. Just as you could go to a track and run 100 meter sprints with 20 seconds rest, you could do the same thing 100 meter row with that same rest period. Or it can be used for zone two work, which is how I use it right now. Each Monday and Friday, I do a 20 plus minute easy row where my heart rate's sitting below 140 beats per minute. So let me detail why I've settled on this. Unlike walking where your weight transitions slowly from one leg to the other, running is like hopping from one foot to the other. All your weight is absorbed on one leg abruptly. It's a high impact. Run for 45 minutes and you're doing this hop on each leg thousands of times. And this makes running a more dangerous activity than low impact activities like walking, cycling, or swimming. And being a runner, I wanted a way to reduce my risk for injury. So this is where the rower came in. A study from the University of Memphis states that replacing some runs with non-impact or low impact cross training when increasing training intensity and volume may be useful in reducing injury risks. My rower is low impact. Instead of running seven days a week, which led to my injuries last year, now I'm substituting two of those easy days for rowing. So far this year, I'm injury free. And if you're not a runner, it's also important to know that just cross training in general is good for overall fitness for anyone. Another reason why I settled on the rower was its total body focus. So running or cycling is focused on the lower body. Rowing, on the other hand, is about 60% of the lower body, but 40% of the upper body too. Depending on where you are in the row, you get engagement of the quads, glutes, calves, core, back, and biceps. Not often have I worked all of those muscles aerobically, and now I can. And it can help with low back pain and posture. Most of our days are spent hunched over a keyboard, laptop, or mobile phone. This causes our chests to become tight and our back muscles to become weak. Aurora provides an opportunity to fix both issues with a movement that focuses on stretching out the chest and strengthening the back. Commonly neglected muscles are now the focus. This isn't something that I would have got if I just started cycling. And lastly, I just wanted to mention a few miscellaneous items. I got my Concept2 rower, which normally goes for about $900, off Facebook Marketplace for 700 bucks. It was only used once. Even if I bought it new, it was still cheaper than, say, a $3,500 treadmill or $2,000 bike. The Concept2 rowers are known to last for over 10 years, don't require electricity, and don't require much maintenance either. They're durable, cheap, and don't take up much space. As you can tell, I have fallen in love with my Concept2 rower. So here are my final thoughts. Whether a rower fits into your life or exercise goals is up to you to decide, but I found it useful for a variety of different situations like zone two, zone five, power and strength training. It's also my aerobic cross training. It's a total body exercise that corrects my desk job posture and helps reduce my risk for injury. Plus it's relatively cheap, durable and compact. I may be a little biased, but is my latest habit for health excellence. Thanks for checking out the channel, and if you're interested in getting more habits for health excellence, feel free to check out my weekly newsletter where I detail those along with the most important things that I've read, watched, or listened to within the past week. There's a sign up for my newsletter down in the description if you're interested in that. Thanks again, and I look forward to seeing you guys next week.